Millions of Americans suffer from body image issues and eating disorders. That's why a local group is doing its part to encourage people to get help and live healthier lifestyles. Joining us now is Joanna Kandel, the CEO of the Alliance of e for Eating Disorders. And we want to welcome you here today. This is Eating Disorder Awareness Month, something everyone should be aware of. So yes. tell us about your group and what you want people to know. So 16 years ago, I founded the Alliance for Eating Disorders Awareness, mm -hmm. and we do outreach education, early intervention, and advocacy for all eating disorders. Um, over the 16 years, we've spoken to more than 280,000 wow. people across the country. Uh, we hold free support groups locally. We advocate for legislation on a national level. Um, and more than anything, we share the message that help is available and complete recovery from an eating disorder is possible. And you said people. A lot of times people think this has to do with women or young girls. Exactly. And it's definitely not just women. Exactly. Eating disorders do not discriminate between age, gender, race, class, sexual orientation. <laughs> no one is immune to developing eating disorders. You started it. Tell us why you got involved. So I started the organization as a result of my tenure battle with anorexia, with bulimia, and with binge eating disorder. I was born and raised in South Florida. I'm a, I'm a native, and mm -hmm. the entire time I was struggling, uh, there really wasn't help for me, and people really weren't talking about it. Mm -hmm. um, and so my senior year of college, I called my parents up and I said, you know the whole grad school thing? I really want to start a nonprofit and really let people know that there is help, that there is hope. Um, and so I moved back to West Palm, and 16 years later, I'm so proud and honored to work for an amazing organization. That's fantastic. So you yes. have an event coming up. Tell us about it and how we can get involved. We do. So um, the week next week actually, um, the end of Eating Disorders Awareness Month, we are holding our sixth annual Celebrating Everybody Walk for Eating Disorders I like Awareness. That, everybody. Exactly, exactly. And it's we're being we're held, we're holding it at Trade Winds Park in Coconut mm -hmm. Creek and we're inviting everybody to come out and do a one mile, it's only a mile, mm -hmm. walk to really celebrate recovery, to raise awareness mm -hmm. and to let people know that there is no shame, there is no stigma surrounding eating disorders and that there's help available. And it happens to a lot of people right here in our area. Um, if you think you know someone with an eating disorder, or maybe someone's out there watching right now wondering, oh no, is she kind of talking to me? Absolutely. What's the first step? Um, first and foremost is you didn't cause this. Mm -hmm. um, this is not your fault. Eating disorders are biopsychosocial illnesses. So if you think you're struggling with an eating disorder, please pick up the phone, call the Alliance. We have the most comprehensive referral database actually in the country. Wow. So we can absolutely help you get into help. We have free support groups. And more than anything, know that you deserve recovery. Um, if you have a loved one that's struggling, take care of yourself and get help. That's wonderful, and I guess we're grateful you said that you didn't want to go to grad school because you're helping so many people right <laughs> here you. in our area. Well, we want to tell you the Alliance Walk for Everybody is Saturday, March 4th. Tickets, $25 for adults, $15 for kids, $5 for pets. You can bring those guys, too. We've set up a link. We've made it easy for you for the event on our website, WPBF.com, and you can always contact the Alliance if, if you're concerned about an eating disorder for yourself or someone, a family Absolutely. or friend. Thank you for being here. We Thank appreciate it. Thank you so it. much. Take good care.